In this video, we're going to focus on converting a fraction specifically to a repeating decimal. So let's start with this example. To convert any fraction to a decimal, you could use long division. So the denominator is going to be the divisor. That's going to go on the outside. The numerator is going to go on the inside. That's the dividend. Now, because 1 is less than 3, 3 doesn't go into 1. So what we need to do is add a decimal point and a zero. How many times does three go into 10? If we make a list of the multiples of three, this is what we have. So what is the highest multiple of three just under 10? That's gonna be nine. So three goes into 10 three times. Three times three is nine, so three times 0.3 is 0.9. 10 minus 9 is 1, so 1.0 minus 0.9 is 0.1. Now we need to add a 0. 3 goes into 10 three times, so this is going to be 0 0.09. And notice that the pattern will keep repeating. 3 goes into 10 three times. And so we're always going to get the same remainder. When the remainder is not changing, you know you're going to have a situation where you're going to get an answer that repeats. So 1 over 3, that is equal to 0.3333. This is going to go on forever. So we could simply say 1 over 3 is equal to 0.3 repeating, and we're going to put a bar on top of the 3 to show that it's going to keep repeating forever. So that's how you can convert a fraction to a repeating decimal for this example. Now, for instance, let's say if we want to convert 2 over 3 into a repeating decimal. 2 over 3 is basically 2 times 1 third. Now, we know that 1 over 3 is 0 0.3 repeating. So 2 over 3 is going to be twice that value. So it's going to be 0 0.6 repeating since 3 times 2 is 6. So you can derive other answers from previous answers. Let's try this example. 1 over 6. Go ahead and convert that to a repeating decimal. So let's divide 1 by 6. So 6 is the divisor, 1 is the dividend. We need to add a 0 and a decimal point. Now how many times does 6 go into 10? 6 goes into 10 one time. 1 times 6 is 6, so 1 times 6 times 0.1 is 0.6. And we're going to get 10 minus 6 is 4, so 1.0 minus 0.6 is 0 0.4. Now, 6 doesn't go into 4 because 4 is smaller than 6, which means we need to add a 0. If we bring down a 0, we have 40. Let's write down the multiples of 6. So how many times does 6 go into 40? What would you say? So what is the highest multiple of 6 just under 40? That's going to be 36. So 6 goes into 40 6 times. 6 times 6 is 36. And 40 minus 36 is 4. If we bring down another 0, Notice that we have a 4 again. So that tells us that the pattern is going to repeat. 6 goes into 40 6 times. We're going to get 36. And this is going to give us another remainder with a 4. So we could say that 1 over 6 is 0 0.1, and then 6, 6, 6, 6. That keeps on going. Or we can write it like this. 1 over 6 is... 0.16, but only the 6 repeats. So we just got to put the bar over the 6, not over the 1. So this is going to be the answer, 0.16 repeating. Try this one, 1 over 9. Go ahead and convert that to a repeating decimal. So let's add a, a decimal point and a 0 to the 1. So how many times does 9 go into 10? 9 goes into 10 one time. 
9 times 1 is 9, so 9 times 0.1 is 0 0.9. 1.0 minus 0.9 is 0.1. Notice the 1 is repeating. If we bring a 0, 9 goes into 10 one time. This is going to be 0 0.09 now, since you're multiplying 9 by 0 0.01. And this is going to be 0 0.01. Bring down another 0. We got a 10 again. 9 goes into that one time. And this is just going to keep on going. So at this point, we can see the 1 is repeating. So 1 over 9 is basically 0.1 repeating. So knowing that, what's 2 over 9 and 4 over 9? 2 over 9 is 2 times 1 over 9. And we know that 1 over 9 is 0.1 repeating. 1 times 2 is 2, so this is going to be 0.2 repeating. 4 over 9 is 4 times 1 over 9, so that's 4 times 0.1 repeating. 4 times 0.1 is 0.4, so 4 over 9 is 0.4 repeating. With 9s, there are a pattern that you should be familiar with. 17 over 99. So let me show you something. We know that 2 over 9 is 0.2 repeating. 3 over 9, that's going to be 0.3 repeating. 4 over 9 is 0.4 repeating. Notice the pattern. 17 over 99 is basically 0.17 repeating. 25 over 99 is 0.25 repeating. 247 over 999, that's 0.247 repeating. So with nines, you can quickly determine what the answer is going to be. So that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to convert certain fractions into repeating decimals. Usually when you divide by 3, 6, or 9, typically you're going to have a repeating decimal. Just a heads up. Now, I do want to mention this disclaimer. It's not always the case. So for instance, 3 over 3 is not a repeating decimal. It's 1. 3 over 6 is 1 half, which is 0.5. However, whenever you divide by a multiple of 3, you do have the potential to get a repeating decimal. We know that 1 over 3 is 0.3 repeating. 1 over 6 is 0.16 repeating. 1 over 9 is 0.1 repeating. And 1 over 12, I'm going to use a calculator for that, is 0 0.083 repeating. 1 over 15 is 0 0.06 repeating. And let's do one more. 1 over 18. That's 0 0.05 repeating. So as you can see, whenever you divide by a multiple of 3, the potential to get a repeating decimal is there. It's not always the case, but there's a good chance that if you can't simplify it like this, like 3 over 6 to 1 over 2, there's a good chance you're going to have a repeating decimal. So I just want to give you a heads up on that so you know when to look for the possibility of getting a repeating decimal. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you find it useful. And for those of you who want more video tutorials on just math in general, or even physics and chemistry, feel free to check out the links in the description or my website video-tutor.net. Thanks for watching.